Yes, I go by the name of Bike Moses or it's Bike on every social media platform. And it's always a pleasure to hang out with you every single weekday from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. So today happens to be my favorite day, as you can see. And I have a very powerful, strong woman in studio with me. Before I introduce her, White54 channel on Twitter, White54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White54 on Facebook is the way to reach us. Don't forget the hashtag Why in the Morning. Don't forget the hashtag Queen's Wednesday. So Sess is here, CEO and founder of Glam by Sess. Yes. Uh -huh. I hope I didn't miss anything, Seth. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh -huh. You didn't go into All right. <laughs> and the Bachelor of Commerce. Graduate. Home, yeah. Yes. Graduate. Become, yeah. From the University of Nairobi. Nairobi yeah. Yes. You have a reputation the University of Nairobi. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's a story of an for another day. <laughs> <laughs> right now, we'll focus on the reason you're here. But yeah. maybe you can introduce yourself. Your camera is number two. Oh. Anything I missed. Uh, Bachelor's degree from the <laughs> University of Nairobi, CEO and founder of Glam Vices. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. So uh -huh. my name is Cecilia, mm -hmm. actually. Cecilia Wangare Munyoro. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That is your Huduma number yeah, name. That is my, <laughs> that's my MPESA name. Oh, your MPESA yeah. name. All right. <laughs> so, yeah. And um, I'm from a village in Nyeri called uh -huh. Karigoine. Uh -huh. Yes. And uh, um, a mother of two. Uh -huh. A boy and a mm -hmm. girl. Mm -hmm. The boy turning six and the girl is turning two. A balance. Uh -huh. I know. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, they are actually born on the same month. They have like a difference of five days. Difference of five yeah, days. Same month. So, birthdays. Yeah, our budget, yeah. Oh, church. God bless you. Best thing ever. <laughs> so, so you combine the yes, birthdays. Yes, combine the birthdays. Uh, so budget always. is nice. You only have one birthday yes, every year. Yes, yes. All right, yes. I like that. So a mom, um, an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. and uh, a learned friend. As well. Yeah. All right. So uh, you're from Nyeri? Yes, I am. Uh, but not born and raised in Nyeri, right? Born and raised in Nyeri. Born and raised in Nyeri. Yes. At what point did you come to the big Apple city? Uh, I think the first time I came to Nairobi. No, I used to visit my relatives, my uh -huh. uncles and aunties. I used to do that as well. I yes, I was born somewhere. <laughs> So I always look I forward know, to the holidays. I always look forward to holidays. Yeah. So, yeah. But I think the first time that I came to Nairobi uh -huh. and stayed for a while, it's after I got done with my high, high school. school. Mm -hmm. So I came to do computer and uh -huh. driving uh -huh. yeah, in Nairobi. So you're a yes. driver? You're a certified driver? <laughs> yes, but I'm, I'm not even good at it, so I, let's not brag about yeah. it. <laughs> right. yes. But anyway, so uh, the reason you came to Nairobi was uh, to, to settle in mm -hmm. Nairobi was for education. Yeah, yeah. for education purposes. Education yes. purposes. Yeah. And then you ended up in the university. Yeah. All right, so uh, at what point did you figure out, all right, I have an eye for style and I want to make this work for me? I think I've always had an eye for style, mm -hmm. but I, I feel the fact that I'm from the village, mm -hmm. I was not able to, to exploit explore it. my, yeah. yeah, you know, you have to be decent, you uh -huh. have to be, and you know, fashion most of the time is uh, uh -huh. referred to not. Yes, so, yeah. one problem I have with the village is when you're walking, it's like <laughs> your dad is walking, your mom is walking, <laughs> you're representing everybody whole, that yeah, she left home. Representing everyone, uh -huh. yeah. So, but uh, I used I used to, what if I like almost everything my mom bought for me? Uh -huh. I had to do something about it, put it a slit, uh -huh. make it shorter. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was always. Did you ever get in trouble for all this uh, funk that you were putting in your? Yes, my mm. mom. Uh -huh. I, I am so sure she's. I watching hope she's this. watching right now. She is. Uh -huh. Yes. So she used to think, what are you doing? This is an expensive dress. Why are uh -huh. you messing it up? Uh -huh. Yeah. Then my, my my dad has always made fun of me. Mm -hmm. He keeps saying. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, it's like I can't Co get it. How do you wear this? Because <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah. right. you go beyond the culture, yes, you yes, break yes. Uh, the rules a little bit. Yeah. All right. So, uh, but they came to understand that you're different. Yeah, they did. Mm -hmm. at, at some point, no. After I got done with my campus, then mm -hmm. my my dad was like, "Why, why, why do you want to sell clothes? Why, why do you mm -hmm. want?" To we didn't take anything? you to school to do yeah, this. Yes, I, get a I, get I a dream job. Was quite disappointed, uh -huh. but uh, with time, uh -huh. I just came to learn. Just like that. So you've never had nine to five. I have. You've first. had a job. Yes, yes, right. I've had a, a, a job. This was immediately after campus. Yeah, or what? immediately after. Even before, I used to work somewhere and I mm -hmm. used to go to school. At so the you've same always time. been a hustler. Yes, uh, uh, Yanni. All right. Watcher, too. I've Your choice of uh, the choice of what the, the choice of the course mm -hmm. that you studied in school. Mm -hmm. Did you choose it? Did you did you have to make it yourself? I was good in maths. Uh -huh. Yeah. You're and, always uh, good in maths, yes. but you don't say. 
I know. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, it's something that I wanted to pursue, but then mm. I had this other part. I knew you just go to school and like uh, my parents were ready to pay the school fees. Mm. I was uh, I had qualified. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, I, want, I wanted to do something because mm. yeah, I love maths, only mm. that I now I love fashion more. You love fashion yeah, more. So. All right, at these two meetings mm -hmm. somewhere in the long run, you're doing your fashion business, you study become. Yeah. Uh, are they meeting somewhere? In the, uh, it's because uh, Glam by Cess mm -hmm. is... Uh, it's a business, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, as far as I love doing it, it's mm -hmm. a passion, but it's also a business. It's so also a business. Whatever I started in campus it really helps me to uh -huh. manage my business. Whatever you started yeah. helps you manage your business. business yeah. right, where did the capital come from? Mm -hmm. How did you start? No, let's say, okay, when it comes to styling, you don't need capital as such, because mm -hmm. it's, it's an art, it's, I offer a service. Mm -hmm. But before then, I remember even before, I, uh, after I was done with campus, I opened a boutique uh -huh. in town, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, just, and I used to sell, I used to go to Gikomba when I was in campus uh -huh. and pick some pieces, uh -huh. then sell them to my classmates, uh -huh. earrings, like bangles, uh -huh. I, yeah. So it started there, so I, I, then I could save, uh -huh. yeah. So you started saving in campus, yeah. you started hustling in campus, yes. saved up and opened your own place yeah. after campus, yes. and then focused on styling. All yes. right, this is, um, this is an aspect of fashion that so, not so many people understand. Yeah, mm -hmm. I bet your parents who are watching right now don't even get yeah. it. Yeah, because because we have the designer. Mm -hmm. People just say, "I can just piece these two and yeah. put them together and, and dress up," but you you are the link between the designer and and, uh, and the person who's and going person to wear the outfit. It, yeah. All right. So, uh, ha, do you feel like Kenyans are already? appreciating this need for stylists now yeah we've come a long way mm -hmm. uh and i'm proud to say that we are headed somewhere mm -hmm. we, we, we yeah there are steps every mm -hmm. other year yeah I, I mean the fashion industry is really growing mm -hmm. and we appreciate that because it gives us mm -hmm. now a platform to showcase our what mm -hmm. we can do yes all right so uh have you ever been in a situation where you got clothes from a designer and uh, you put them on someone the way you thought mm -hmm. uh, they were going to look the best, and then had a conflict with the person that designed the clothes. Because uh, they had a different in vision. In the past, I, I work both with uh, designers mm -hmm. and boutiques. Uh -huh. Yeah, so some are ready made, and mm -hmm. the, the, then we talk about, yeah. So mm -hmm. we can mostly with designers, we sit down and we decide this can work for. Uh -huh. So before they even make it, uh -huh. I have a say. Right. that yeah right. and i've also spoken to the client uh -huh. and, so and we agreed uh, you so, agreed with yeah, your client so we we really have a conflict because it's something that we talk about before the even the piece is made all right yeah you focus on uh, both uh, men and women's fashion yeah uh, which is uh, quite rare not so many people have yes. that eye for both yeah. men's fashion and, and women's fashion all right so uh, how would you describe uh your touch in men's fashion because uh, I have looking at your work at your portfolio mm -hmm. uh, there's a there's a certain vibe I'm getting from it uh, you dress gentlemen <laughs> yes I it's do. not streetwear per se no I, I, I do it I, I think uh, the issue you have not seen more of streetwear it's because mm -hmm. most of my clients mm -hmm. are not but I've done streetwear before. you've done streetwear as yeah well. but now most of my clients are you know, TV personalities. Uh, they do it for TV. Yeah, they do it for TV. So uh -huh. there's a certain... Uh, yeah, there, there there's certain rules that the you rules need. rules for uh -huh. TV that uh -huh. you can even you know that. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Uh -huh. So it's, we keep it safe and uh, uh -huh. classy and, you know, yeah, uh -huh. and I love to play with colors. Oh, for yeah. guys, because most guys don't like to oh, right. out colors. You, yeah. bring li you bring the outfits to life yes. by putting some color in yes, there. Yes, yes. All right, I see the likes of um, Guardian Angel. Mm -hmm. I see... Jeff Morte, mm -hmm. I see DJ Soxy, I see, I'm focused on the men first. We'll <laughs> go to the ladies, because it's okay. Queen's Wednesday, we'll, they'll get uh, a lot of time. I see uh, Andrew Alovi here, mm -hmm. I see Moji Short Baba, mm -hmm. I see, these are people that uh, you can't click your explore on Instagram and miss them. Yeah. Like, they're out there right now. Yeah. How do you, how have you managed to, to, Get all this clientele together. 
because these are like I think uh, the people who are popping right now in the industry if you ask me because uh-huh. I feel like in this industry you have to do a good job for someone to notice it yeah mm-hmm. so I felt my first client was Jeff Morte mm-hmm. yes the the gents, uh-huh. yeah. for the gents, yeah. 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 so uh-huh. uh, how did you then, get in touch with them? Or how did you get no, a hold of them? Or your we friends are first? Friends All right, with Jeff Morte. Uh-huh. So yeah, when he got his first TV job, uh-huh. I, I I kept telling him, I am going to do this. You're going to do this. You're going to do this. And then he believed in me because uh-huh. he had seen me do other things before. Uh-huh. So yeah, so we started there. And then uh-huh. the minute he got uh, his first job at K24. Uh-huh. And he posted the first photos that I had styled him. Everyone mm-hmm. loved it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I, 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 I love, as I said before, I love color. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so I made used him to make get it out pop. of his comfort zone. Uh-huh. There, yeah, and everyone got to notice. Uh-huh. Yeah, so so after there, this, you got referrals yeah, from here and there. So people are checking it, sliding in my DM. All right, people <laughs> slide in that DM. Uh-huh. No, but for real, yeah. Uh-huh. They were, and uh, you know, just asking uh, how, how much do you charge? Uh-huh. Can you style me? Yeah, mm-hmm. and I mean, the rest is history. It the started there. Yeah. It started there yeah. with the guys. Mm. All right. So uh, you appreciate the power of word of mouth yes. as a marketing tool. Yes, yes, yes. It's your best marketing tool so far. Yes, it is. All right. What about social media? Uh, when I say like, uh, it it plays a huge role uh-huh. in social media, yeah. Because uh-huh. you see now, even if most people won't uh, say, oh, get in touch with my stylist, Nini, uh-huh. they'll follow me. Uh-huh. I, I mean, the minute Jeff started tagging me, and uh-huh. he has friends and you uh-huh. know colleagues in uh-huh. the industry, uh-huh. so they started following me. Uh-huh. They will see my job, and then they will want to try me out. And but. Uh-huh. I mean, social media is the th- in thing right mm-hmm. now. You have to do it right if you it's want business to somewhere. Too. Yes. You can't yes. sleep on this. You can't. Shout you out can't. to man like Jeff, by the way, yeah. for supporting <laughs> uh, supporting structures in this industry right here. Yeah. All right. So uh, to the ladies, mm-hmm. I've seen a number of beautiful uh, celebrity chicks here. Mm-hmm. The two of style. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, obviously, you started with styling ladies. I'm guessing. Yes. All right. Started, no, no, for the ladies, I started majorly with my friends uh-huh. and myself, and then I would post photos of myself on uh-huh. Instagram, so people will know that. But, but there she's into this, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but my first, first client, mm-hmm. surprisingly, was Jeff Morton. All right. Yeah. So you started with the men? Yeah. So that you the have gents. a touch for the gents? <laughs> uh. Yes. All right. When it comes <laughs> to the ladies, I'm done with the gents. Let's focus on the queens All now. Right. When uh-huh. it comes to the ladies, do you dress them uh, like how you'd like to look like if you had their body type or you listen to them? Oh, I wish I could do that. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time, I'm just looking at them. I'm like, time. I uh-huh. wish that was my body. Uh-huh. You know. Yeah. But um, there's a lot to consider. Mm-hmm. Because you have to consider, we all we all have different body types. Mm-hmm. We have different complexions. Mm-hmm. We have complexion. Uh, yeah, what we is, are is a factor. It, it, it is, uh-huh. and uh, we have what we are comfortable in. Because uh-huh. I would like to dress into something, but mm-hmm. it won't be comfortable. And right. you know, comfort is key because mm-hmm. it also does a lot of things with your confidence, mm-hmm. especially if you're like uh, on air or something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. So we discuss or most on of the these runway. things. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Or on stage <laughs> or performing. On stage. Yeah. Uh-huh. Definitely. As long as you somewhere people are looking at you, you mm-hmm. need to be confident. Uh-huh. Yeah, so we sit down and uh, the clients will tell me I like this and I like this, and mm-hmm. then I'll advise them. And I'm like, this doesn't work for you. Maybe mm-hmm. you should try this. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. So uh, how is how, how is the process like? So I'm um, like, all right, uh, Sess, mm-hmm. I'll be going for for an award ceremony. Mm-hmm. Uh, why two five four? Film awards. Yeah. There's a red carpet. Mm-hmm. I'll be the host. Mm-hmm. Uh, I need this and this. Where, where do you think I should take it? I ask you that question, yeah. and then we sit, and then we conversate. Yeah. Well, uh-huh. mostly just give me a call or uh-huh. send me a text. I'm like, I have this event on Saturday. Mm-hmm. Uh, most I prefer being told like a week earlier so that mm-hmm. I can be able to. A week is enough for yeah, you. Yeah. Right. A week. A week is enough. Uh-huh. So, uh, so once you I got a bit confused, I'm just wondering. Looking at I yourself. <laughs> this is you right there. Yes. You're killing the game for him. <laughs> if you can open this picture for us. Uh-huh. Yeah. So yeah, you mm-hmm. give me. A week uh, you tell me in a uh, week's time mm-hmm. and then we yeah we get to discuss and we see what we can do about it but it all depends with the event what it all depends want? with yeah. the event yeah. and then I give you the money then you go shopping mm-hmm. for me 
for it's different it's different it works different it's different for celebrity yes so because it is both what this wardrobe styling and mm. this personal styling all right yes before we focus on what just leave it there mm -hmm. just leave the screen as it is <laughs> break it down for us so there's wardrobe styling and personal styling. styling yeah all right it's different like uh, sometimes when you do personal styling it's from a normal not a celebrity not a mm -hmm. tv personality mm -hmm. so you just want to get dressed for a certain event that you're going that is mm -hmm. important maybe it's you our friend's wedding or mm -hmm. just maybe a red cup my red carpet mm -hmm. but mostly for styling like for personalities and mm -hmm. celebrities it's all about we call it influencer marketing uh -huh. So influencer marketing here, the shops where uh -huh. I get the clothes, I'm the designers, uh -huh. they get to benefit through through the shouts. Uh -huh. The celebrity gives. All the right, shop. all right. So you link the dealer of, of the, the, sh the clothes, clothes with the influencers. With the influencer. So you're the middleman. Yeah. Then you make them look so good yeah. in their clothes. Yes. And then everybody wins. A everybody and then wins. Some yeah. money is and in between here. In between, yeah. Because uh -huh. what happens now? The the, the 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 designer or the shops they get a lot of clients mm -hmm. coming to ask for the clothes that the celebrities have worn. Yeah. Uh -huh. So in this case, the celebrities don't buy the clothes. Uh -huh. Yes. All right. Because they're marketing the shops. Okay, yeah. I get that. Works really perfect. Yes. For you. All right, just slow down, slow down. Mm -hmm. Take it, take it, take it down, take it down. Oh, this is a yeah, very, my little. This is your little yeah, girl right girl. here. You guys are on holiday. <laughs> yes. This is your family right oh, there. Oh, yes. Your son and daughter. Yeah, my son and, and daughter. And they're styling their swagging <laughs> as well. Mm. They have to be. <laughs> they have to. Be. They have to. I they love this to. so much. All right, uh huh. Let's just go back. Back, back, back. All right, we can go. Let's go. Let's go. I saw somebody that really looks familiar. We can go. Here, 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 here. Pierre. Yeah. This is a very good friend of mine. <laughs> ah, yeah. she is. She's yes. amazing. Just click and this her one. body. Uh -huh. hmm. So, this is all you right here. Yes, yes. You, make, you know how to make people look good. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you wow. so much. I want this picture right mm -hmm. here. If you can <laughs> focus on that vision. All right, so this is all you. So let me mm -hmm. look at the caption. Eh? Uh, Style Diaries with Pierre McKenna official for Beatbox Live K24. Yeah. yeah. Uh, two piece from Elegance Fashion Kenya. MUA. What is MUA? Moi. Makeup artist. Okay. Now you know. Thank you. <laughs> I learned a lot on why in the morning. And this is that day that I learned something. Yes. All right. So I see how you shout them out. Yeah. That is the yes. format for posting. For posting, yes. All right. Mm. So this is your personal. I bet when they post the pictures as well, they get even more reach. Yeah, they get you. even more, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. So uh, when we go to Hollywood, yeah, mm -hmm. we have people like celebrity stylists. Mm -hmm. Like a stylist has done his or her thing, yeah. made people look good, yeah. up to a point where now the, the media wants attention. Yeah. Uh, wants his or her mm -hmm. attention. All right. Is it something that you're looking at right here in Kenya or in Nairobi? Is it something that is about to happen? About to happen? Yeah, I feel like it's about to happen because mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of people like me. I uh -huh. have a lot of people inboxing me, mm -hmm. inviting me for events. Mm -hmm. So it's a good thing. No, mm -hmm. the, the, that means they have noticed uh -huh. your work. Uh -huh. I mean, they have l looked at your page and uh -huh. they know, they, they already understand mm -hmm. what the kind of, your kind of style and they, they want you to be part of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I feel like we're headed there. You're headed sure. there. We're yeah. going to have celebrity yes. stylists yes. within this country. Yes, like, but uh, we are. Uh -huh. I am a celebrity you stylist. You are. So that's why you're here, my dear. <laughs> All right, but I'm looking at that point where uh -huh. we'll have uh, yeah, a million followers yeah, for you guys so and influencing yeah. on your own mm. and different things like that. All right, uh, your Instagram is really popping. How do uh, do you get professional photographers to do this or you just... Uh, or some of them are just phone some pictures? Some of them I take uh, with my phone uh -huh. and then the rest, uh, the, the clients majorly are taken by a uh, professional photographer. Uh -huh. Yes. Wow, wonderful. I love this so much. Thank you. Mm. I love this so much. I never knew that this could happen right here in Nairobi. It is. We have, it is uh, happening. It's happening. Way, yeah. It's a business. It's a line of yeah. work. All right. People are appreciating us more and uh -huh. more. Yeah. 
All right, so when we get, we are having a lot of festivals mm -hmm. in Nairobi, yeah. most recently. We have the Koroga yeah. Festival, we mm -hmm. have the African Nouveau, yeah. we have Blankets and Wine. And uh, when I look at such events, people go to show out. Yeah. Uh, are these peak seasons for you? Yeah, they uh -huh. are. They are peak seasons. The, the, it's such an exciting season because uh -huh. we get to be creative. Uh -huh. Especially like for, for me, I would say uh, I have a lot of clients that mm -hmm. are on TV, so uh -huh. I am not able to be creative as much because uh -huh. I have rules that are guiding uh -huh. me. But when they but get I, to go out. Uh -huh. I love that. You love yes, that when they get yes, to go out. Yes. So I have uh -huh. some, yeah, I have, I have some clients who are ready to... To break the rules to a little bit. Yeah. All right. So mm -hmm. these are peak seasons for you. Yeah. So more festivals should more come. More festivals. <laughs> the better for us. <laughs> more yes. festivals should come. <laughs> yes. Organizers, please. More yes, festivals. Yes. So yes. we can eat as well. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> All right. Please remind them your social media handles because they're already asking uh, for your social media. Uh, so they okay. can stalk you while we wrap this all up. Right. Mm -hmm. I go by Glam by Sess mm -hmm. on all social media platforms. Mm -hmm. Yes. Glam by Sess. Glam underscore uh, by underscore, underscore Sess. Sess is a C E C E double S. C E double S. All right. So uh, this is something you're doing full time now. Yes. Uh, you love fabric. You love making yeah. people look good. Yes. All right. When it comes when it comes to looking good, mm -hmm. we have accessories as well. Yeah. So we have things like glasses that like mm -hmm. the ones you have on. Mm -hmm. We have earrings. Yeah. We have uh, waist waist rings. I've seen ladies <laughs> have them. Uh, we, we have belts. Have, yeah. Uh, are these things that you specialize in as well? Yes, I mean, when, you, when we say styling, mm -hmm. I offer rather, mm -hmm. I'll give you a full look. A full look. So I get to style you. Some, some, sometimes I even provide hair. Uh -huh. All right, all right. Yeah, uh -huh. sometimes, but uh -huh. now that depends, yeah. Uh -huh. So I give you a full look in terms of I'll give you a dress, I'll uh -huh. give you shoes, I'll give you accessories. Uh -huh. Yes. All right. The reason I ask this, uh -huh. what is uh, people really underestimate the mm -hmm. power of accessories in a look yeah. like myself i don't have a watch right now yeah. i don't have a chain my chain <laughs> is in that uh, so uh <laughs> what is the power of accessorizing your look i mean it it gives a look a completely different feel from mm -hmm. what it was if, you, if it's plain mm -hmm. yeah so I, I feel like it adds more life to an it outfit life. yeah it adds life to an yeah. outfit yes, all right yes. what can you compare it to say uh, in a food setting what are accessories oh, in food? I love food. Now yeah. you just... <laughs> <laughs> I took it somewhere else. You just took it. Yeah. <laughs> it's kachumbari in the food. It's kachumbari in the, the food. Yeah, yeah. It's so true, yes. Yeah. So it's that kachumbari yeah. when you're eating your nyamashoma. Yes, yes. Right. Nyamashoma is good, but without it's kachumbari, I it's know. not so good. Let's, no, let's right. not even go there. <laughs> All right. So we have Sess in studio. Mm -hmm. uh, Sess is a stylist, uh, CEO and founder of Glam by Sess. She's styled the who's and who's of Nairobi City of Kenya at large. And she's mm -hmm. here with me for strength of a woman. Follow her on Glam by Sess. Yes. Glam, Glam underscore by Sess. By Sess. Yes, yeah. Follow her on every social media fla platform so you can get to know what she's all about. So, Sess, mm -hmm. as we wrap this up, mm -hmm. what's your message to the queens out there who would like to be on strength of a woman this particular segment? Who would like to have that shaggy song play before they come live? <laughs> uh -huh. I, I mean, just keep doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I focus, and mm -hmm. if you have a passion, mm -hmm. never ever give up. Never, I mean, ever just give up. keep doing it. Because you've been through keep a lot. Keep doing it. Yes, we I mean, had a conversation. Yes, outside. Uh -huh. it, it just didn't happen. Uh -huh. I mean, I have had my struggles mm -hmm. for me to get here. Mm -hmm. So you don't give up. All right. up. Yeah. One last thing coming from one of my viewers, mm -hmm. and they are asking. Maselebu uh, kwana maringo sana. How do you manage? <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, the ego. <laughs> uh -huh. How do you manage? Uh, it's a job. I mean, it's a job. Yeah. So we have you have to know where to step and uh -huh. where not to step. Uh -huh. and, you know, they're, they're really I every think we every all job have, has its challenges. Yeah, has its challenges, and then we all have these. There, there are some who are really, really, really good. Uh -huh. Yeah. Some are really, really good. I mean, like you can't, uh -huh. you you can't even imagine. You can't even yeah. imagine. Kind, this is the same person. Kindest of people uh -huh. are in the same same industry. All right. Yeah. 
and I can attest to that. Yeah. Uh, some of them I've seen them. I know them. <laughs> yeah, <so laughs> They're really good. Yes. They're really good. Thank you very much, Sess, for coming. Thank you for you're having me. You're an amazing me. woman. You're a powerful Thank woman. You. You're a strong woman. I keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Just Thank representing you so Nyeri much. County. You said the village. The name of the village. The village is called Karigoine. Kar Karigoine. Karigoine. Yes, you know I'm from the other <laughs> side of the country. So. Uh, you, you, Karigoine. You can't, you can't understand <laughs> All right. So representing Nyeri County. Nyeri, stand up. You're represented yeah. on why in the morning today by Sess Glam underscore by underscore Sess on every social media platform mm -hmm. so you can get styled so you can get tips uh, of style you can steal something from her page as well yeah. so this is strength of a woman we've come to an end of it uh, Kalami Val is coming up next with Girls Talk a hot topic you don't want to miss this don't go nowhere